It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show! Down out now! Move across the board, collecting cheese, and use the zany contraption to launch your mouse to freedom. But watch out for the trap! A fast-paced race to help the mice make a daring escape. Scurry through and squeak out! Forget Escape from New York. In this episode... Mouse Trap Escape! The game, the board game. Quick! To the board game room. Who are all you board game freaks out there? It's Mouse Mousetrap Escape. The board game. All right, let's crack this baby open and see what it's all about before I go to bed. All right, so now in this game, um. I took all this stuff out before to set it up. Uh, it's really troublesome to put it back in the box. Just like the uh, first one. This is a remake of Mousetrap. Uh, let's see what the heck I got here. That game, Mousetrap, the trap launching, mouse catching game. All right. I reviewed that as one of like my first episodes back in, like a few years ago or so. All right, so, but I thought it would be, like, really, like, easy to put back, unlike that one, but no, it's both the same. Really troublesome to put back in the box, but let's get past that and forget about that negative crap, all right? This, uh, game is really fun. You will love this game. You will love this game. Just don't get hypnotized. All right, you get all those pieces here, okay, cheese pieces that you collect. You get the three mice figures, all right, little play market pieces, and yeah, they have the three of them in the uh, other one too. So uh, I would have rather them have four players. That would have been cool, but I guess they couldn't fit in the box. I don't know. But let me stop being sarcastic and uh, stuff like that. Th this is a great game. It's really fun. I like it. Uh, sorry if I said the bad word c word before crap. Uh, anyway, I think, I think nowadays people have heard worse. <laughs> anyway, so let me put this bad boy together and I'll, I'll show you what this game is all about. You got this spinner here, which you got to assemble. All right. So, uh, number one, baby. Yeah, that's it. I'll show you the board. I'll show you everything. All right. Not too, you know, difficult to set up. Folks, I was just kidding. Just get the older version, the old edition, if you find it at Thrift Shop. Yeah, if you find it at Thrift Shop, get the older edition. I'm just kidding about that, too. All right, you board game freaks out there, it's Mousetrap Escape Game, the board game. All right, so now, uh, in this game, you get these three player market pieces here. You get all these cheese, pieces of cheese. You get the spinner here. And, um, you get this whole setup here, really easy to set up, it's, you know, cool. You're gonna get one marble, and it's gonna go down the chute, and, uh, you got, um, this seesaw here, alright? So, you go like that, and it flips them over, or, um, you got this guy here. And the marble goes down. I said the marble goes down. And it doesn't work. And as you just heard right now, I lost the marble. Great. This is not great. The game is great, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, look, dude. I know you gotta go to bed. You got to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go to work. I know, aren't you special? But can we just please be a little bit more positive right now? I know you missed the cranky, but let's 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 try to just put on a good show, okay? Uh, we are. I'm I'm having as fun as a, you know, uh a 
person playing this fun game. All right, so you got to futz around with it in order to make the marble go down to shoot and stuff like that. Oh, shoot. You you're right there, buddy? <laughs> All right. But anyway, it's supposed to... The mouse is supposed to go in here and get trapped in there. Here, let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay. So, he's knocked out. He's asleep. But no, no mice were harmed in the making of this film. All right? How you feeling, buddy? Great. Good. How you feeling? Great. How you feeling? Great. They're, they're feeling great. All right. Final thoughts about the game? No, not yet. Okay. So here's the instructions. Very simple. Okay. Get ready. Lay the game board on a flat, stable surface. All right. So that's it. Yeah. So you're going to give each player one cheese wedge to start the game. Okay, uh, place two cheese wedges on the start space, okay? And see how it says two? Okay. Uh, the first player to make it all the way around the board gets to collect them. Wow, cool. That's amazing. It's great. Place the remaining cheese wedges near the board where everyone can reach them. This will be the cheese stash. Cool. This will be the cheese stash. Cool, all right. Each player chooses a mouse player marker piece and places their mouse on the start space. Okay? If you can fit them all, if not, don't worry about it. They'll be going around. They'll make way for you to put your mouse on there, too. All right. And that's basically it. So here's the assembly. In case you find this at a thrift shop, it's got no directions or anything. All right. But it's pretty self-explanatory. It's common sense to put it together. All right. Just follow what the box shows, and that's it. I hate this glare of this light. So, spare me if I'm going to sound like I'm really getting annoyed right now. All right. <laughs> uh. All right. So, spin the spinner. The play with the highest spin goes first. Play continues to the left. Uh, the first player spins the spinner and moves clockwise that many spaces okay so moves three spaces gonna go one two three all right i'll show you what these spaces mean just a bit okay the player then follows the rules of the space they land on okay uh this space means launch the trap space it's time for the trap contraption you can send any one player to the diving board okay uh move that player's mouse to the diving board okay and uh here we go okay cool <clears throat> all right move that player's mouse to the diving board and launch the trap all right be sure to remember to place on the board okay take one cheese wedge from them and add it to your your cheese wheel okay uh Return the trap mouse to their place on the board and reset the trap. All right. Um, steal. Okay. Steal a cheese space. Sneaky, sque sneaky, sneaky. You get to steal one cheese wedge from any other player and add it to your cheese wheel. Add a cheese space. Take one cheese wedge from the cheese stash and add it to your cheese wheel. You're one wedge closer to escaping. These are your cheese wheels. I thought it was garbage, but it's not. When you get the game, keep these, and you'll put them all in like so, making your cheese wheel like a pizza. I'm tired, so that's why this is pretty much going to be the best review I could do about this game. If not, well, folks, um, I guess you know what you could do. <clears throat> So, that's the cheese wheel. Cool. All right. Uh, double cheese space. What the hell is a double cheese space? Oh, double cheese space, okay? Extra cheese, please. Take two cheese wedges from the cheese stash and add them to your cheese wheel. All right, cool. Lose a cheese. All right? Lose a cheese space. Well... Lose a cheese space. Uh-oh. 
You lost a piece of cheese. Take one of your cheese wedges and return it to the cheese stash. If you run out of cheese, you're still in the game. And that's just a blank space. Okay? Like, inside of my head. No, I'm kidding. Uh, blank space. Nothing happens here. <laughs> like the inside of my head. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding, folks. I love making fun of myself. Blank spaces. Nothing happens here. Just wait for your turn to try and make your way out. <laughs> yeah. Try and make your way out of this rabbit hole. Okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, now, anyway. Notes. If you land on a space that another uh, player is on, uh, move ahead to that uh, next available space. Don't forget to reset the trap if it's launched during your turn. When you make it all the way around the board, keep going. The game doesn't end until someone collects five cheese wedges and makes their escape with you know this and then makes their escape. So, uh, notes. If you land on... Uh, where where the hell am I? Oh, I just read this, didn't I? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man, get a load of me, folks. Get a load of me. If you land on a space that another player is on, move ahead to the next available space. Don't forget to reset the trap if it's launched during your turn. When you make it all the way around the board, keep going. The game doesn't end until someone collects five cheese wedges and makes their escape. If a player doesn't have any cheese, you can't steal from them. Duh. However, you can still send them to the trap if you want to. Duh. Double duh. Alright, so to launch the trap. Okay, here. To launch the trap, you follow the instructions. Place the mouse on the diving board. Make sure the mouse is placed correctly. Alright. Tip the bucket to the start of the marble run. I need a tip in my bucket. Folks. If you don't mind, <laughs> tip the bucket. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, no, I'm only kidding. Every I do this for fun, folks. Every action will have a crazy reaction. Cool. Reset the trap. All right. So return the bucket to the upright position and then place it in the, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Escape first to win. Once you collect five cheese wedges, place your mouse in the cheese wedge symbol. On the escape launcher, quickly press down on the opposite end to complete your escape. Yay. All right. I doubt that mouse is going to land like that when you try it. But if it does, God bless you. You did good. Great. Putting the game away. Very annoying. Dreaded. Dreadful. Dread. But that's okay. The game's good. I like it. Final thoughts about the game. Daddy, did he say a bad word? What, crap? No, that, that, that's not a bad word. That, 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 that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Alright, so, final thoughts. Now what do I do with this game? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> the game's okay. It's it's a remake of the old game of uh, Mousetrap for kids, whatever. Well, both games are for kids, regular and the other one. That, that other game I showed you. It's, it's a remake of the old version of this game. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's cool, um, that's basically it, I like the player market pieces, I wish they would have made a fourth one, you think they would have got it after all these years of not having this game, and they, they finally remake it, and they don't have a fourth player, hello, uh, anyway, so, <laughs> get one from the other game, if you, if, or buy two of these, you can get it at a thrift shop, um, I found mine at a Dollar General, uh, in Queens, um, if you really want the game, you're gonna have to go to Queens and buy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but then I passed on it because I didn't have the money for it at the time. I needed gas money, so I said, "Well, in order to get my ass to work, I gotta have gas, money for gas." So skip the game and get the gas. And boy, I did. After I bought those can of beans at the Dollar General, instead of this game, I had gas. Yeah, so. And money for gas. Ha ha ha. Joke, but I'll bomb. Uh, uh, hey, I'm here all week, folks. Don't forget to try to veal. And don't forget to tip your waitress. Tip her hard. Tip her over, ca o o over um, whatever, overly with cash. And she will love you forever. Okay? Uh, what do you call it? That's basically it. The game's a fun game. It's uh, 
easy to put together and stuff and take apart and put back into the box a little bit. But uh, that's okay. The game is fun. I like it. I like how they remade the game. Too bad they didn't have another a fourth player. And uh, that's pretty much basically it. You're just going to be landing around those spaces, doing what the spaces tell you to do until somebody escapes. And uh, if so, that's it. Um, yeah. So that's the game. If you want, you can have house rules in this game. Get some dice in it if you want. And, uh, you know, make up your own rules for it too to add some more challenge and fun and excitement in the game. That's pretty much basically it. Um, so I, I, I actually went back, I, I was doing a route, you know, I, I drive a truck, you know, so uh, I was doing deliveries up in Connecticut and, uh, I stopped in a general dollar general store. I found this game. So I'm like, Oh look, there's mousetrap escape. I wanted to get that in Queens, but now I see it here. Let me just get it. I'll pick it up. And that's it. And it, it it's not a bad game. It's fun. I like it, you know? But uh, I still think I did a better video probably to, with the last, the first edition of this game uh, many years ago, whatever, but whatever. And so, <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm starting to run out of things. I, in fact, I actually have run out of things to talk about this game and just stuff in general. I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. I got to wake up at 2 in the morning or whatever to be at work. Oh. That's Mousetrap Escape, the board game. That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game, freak out. Do, 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 do. I'm escaping and going to bed.